Hello, good evening. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading, Tuesday, the 20th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers, and you can download the app at www.tradesignal.com or at the uh, Google uh, Play Store or the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of numbers, Asia, Europe, well, Asian markets first and foremost, as always, certainly weaker overnight, although the Nikkei was higher. Up 0.5 percent with the Hang Seng and the Shanghai both down 0.5 percent respectively. Okay, nothing really overtly bullish overnight. Uh, the BOJ more or less uh, uh, stands still, uh, remains stagnant. Now, in terms of European markets, they've shaken off the major concern, which was the uh, uh, geopolitical risk uh, certainly increasing. Uh, we've had, I think, three incidents, one at a mosque where an individual went in and murdered a few of the worshippers. We had one in Berlin where we still don't know who it was yet, but he certainly seems to be on the run. Uh, an individual who ploughed a truck into uh, innocent civilians, killing, I think, in excess of 13 or 14 and injuring 50 plus. And Miss Merkel has said that it is linked to uh, terrorism. So terrorism, certain concerns, certainly increasing and therefore creating the uncertainty and fear. Uh, also, the situation with regards to Russia and um, Turkey, the Russian ambassador certainly shot and uh, Mr. Putin thinking that it's, uh, it's, it's an attempt at destabilizing the uh, peace treaty between Turkey and um, obviously Syria, uh, undermining that and therefore he's actually going on the offensive, which isn't exactly good. Okay. Uh, and again, we've got uh, a potential uh, state of war with Berlin, London on high alert with regards to terrorism. So again, terrorism concerns throughout Europe, and it would seem silly uh, and slightly confusing in terms of uh, going long or being bullish equities into the weekend or into the actual festive season. So again, you'd expect individuals or traders certainly to be taking off risk at this juncture. That's a logical way in which traders will be thinking, but this market is defying all logic at present, defying all rational price action and um, any type of normalcy, okay? So let's look at the actual technical picture now. Uh, actually, before we do, let's just quickly go over fundamentals today. We actually had German inflation data coming out stronger than expected, which in turn obviously indicates more tapering. More tapering indicates obviously a risk aversion because this market really is dependent upon obviously um, the QE from uh, Mr. Draghi. Now, we did have CHF Swiss exports certainly uh, is slightly increasing there. Okay, trade balance certainly improving as well. In terms of the um, trade or current account for the European session as well, that's certainly slightly improving. We also had CBI data out of the UK certainly coming in much stronger than expected, indicating obviously uh, a healthy consumer going into Christmas, which is a good sign. Red Book Index certainly came in on the strongest side as well. A Chinese data, CB leading economic index certainly came in stronger than expected. The um, dairy auction for Kiwi certainly came in slightly weaker, okay, but that didn't stop the potential short squeeze from occurring regardless. Okay, we've got API data at half past nine, which will probably be more market moving. Other than that, we're remaining stagnant. Okay, so technicals now. Let's go over to the German DAX because the German DAX certainly seems to be leaping, uh, leaping, 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 making potentially an intraday new high. Okay, so daily chart certainly is uh, taking on that key resistance zone at uh, the 11.430 the next potential level is now gap fill at 11.606 now 11.606 with uh, geopolitical fears looming in the background certainly seems very very unlikely but given the way this market is trading it's irrelevant it doesn't matter what the uh, economic data is or news is this market constantly wants to move and grind higher which again like i said is abnormal we've had no pullback at all on the daily chart whatsoever i mean Look at the actual move. Have you seen a, a potential red candle or bearish engulfing candle since? One, two, three, four, five, six. That was an inside bar seven, inside bar eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, it's just non stop, non stop. It's not a healthy sign, but it certainly is non stop, okay? And again, you have to uh, hats off to it, hats off to the actual rally. Okay, so uh, 60 minute chart, the bull flag certainly has played out now. From my understanding and my perspective, it certainly is exhausted to a large extent. As you can see, the German DAX didn't actually touch R2 or R3. Well, sorry, sorry, he went to R2, failed to get to R3, as uh, similar to uh, what the Euro stocks and the uh, well, unlike un unlike the Euro stocks and the CAC, which I'll explain shortly. So you have this rising contracting wedge pattern, which generally is considered bearish, and we'll see exactly how this plays out. This is my understanding. It certainly should be technically playing out to the downside, and you should be seeing risk aversion here for the German DAX. Okay, now. 
Bring up the S&P Europe 350 as well. S&P Europe 350 is certainly putting in a bearish pattern towards a close. Uh, in terms of uh, levels here, let's just bring this up for you. We have some gap levels here. You've got a gap level here and a gap level there. Okay, so a daily chart certainly closing the gap. And you have this potential uh, a bearish candle here, folks. Okay, certainly registering a bearish pattern. So it um, certainly is a class as a, uh, a bearish hanging man candle. Okay, on the daily chart. Certainly not a good sign to see that on the daily chart. Okay, for folks, 60 minute chart at the moment certainly looks like it's uh, stalled as well. 10 minute chart, as you can see, intraday double top, certainly uh, holding. So, again, European session or European markets certainly look weak from my perspective. Certainly look like they want to trade lower. Okay, in terms of the um, the actual French CAC now, let's bring up the French CAC again. French CAC at the moment certainly still. Defying gravity certainly pushing higher. Okay on the daily chart 60 minute chart. We have held intraday double well, certainly double top uh, And again that certainly is being respected the uh, the actual uh, pivot r3 certainly was taken out as well So certainly impressive uh, price action there uh, Okay, so again, you need to respect that now the pivot high that we have here is at 4850 and the next resistance is seen at 4856 so we shall see now my stop loss on this is at four eight six two my bias certainly remains short and we'll see how this tra certainly transpires okay now, in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 let's bring up the FTSE 100 the weekly chart has taken out that bearish engulfing candle which really hats off to them okay for taking that out okay we'll see exactly where we go now now the daily chart on the FTSE at the moment is holding that key resistance zone okay so seven zero forty 60 minute chart again double top intraday so again looking for weakness there 10 minute chart again rejected the 7040 zone flush down to 7030 any retest really will be capped as a resistance so again certainly showing early signs of weakness on the FTSE 100 at 7040 let's just bring up the euro stocks for you as well okay euro stocks certainly impressive move non-stop thrust higher here Okay, so you certainly respect it to a large extent. We took out our R3 and we actually put in a new high. So again, hats off to the Euro stocks. Okay, hats off to the Euro stocks. The bull flag certainly has played out. I expected that to fail on the back of terrorism concerns. I expected that topping tail to hold and that doji to hold. It certainly hasn't. Now, if the Euro stocks continues to move higher than the next potential level you're going to see for resistance because this market certainly is non-stop at the moment. You're looking at 3315. So again, that will be another area of zone that I'll potentially be looking to short. So 3315, certainly a zone to short. Okay. So from my perspective, it already is. I mean, you can see the RSI certainly oversold and certainly is indicating a potential froth and not one that I would like to add longs to. Okay. In terms of the price of oil, the market certainly is uh, fixated on that too. Hence the reason why the FTSE is staying afloat. The daily chart at the moment, really, it's a doji. No real <clears throat> discernible pattern. 60 minute chart certainly has rejected the uh, 53.8 zone. So that'll be interesting to see how the markets transpire with regards to crude oil. Okay, so certainly keep an eye on oil and we'll see exactly how that uh, unfolds. But you can clearly see we are seeing resistance now, which in turn should keep the FTSE 100 at bay. But again, the market is the one that dictates and we'll, and we'll adjust accordingly. Okay, so. That's the fact there. In terms of the US dollar, let's bring up the dollar for you as well. Dollar index at the moment, so you're looking pretty top heavy there. 60 minute chart on the foot on the dollar index, sorry, certainly holding double top. Okay, so certainly reversing as well. So that certainly needs to be respected. And well, like I said, we'll see how the markets transpire. For on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.